Welcome Pisces, we're going to be looking at uh, what guidance you need in love. Okay, so this could be in a romantic relationship, in a family relationship, friendship, um, work relationship, whatever. Whatever. Let me just work these cards out here so I can shuffle them. Okay, so let's have a look here, Pisces. Three cards for Pisces, please. Um, also check out your moon sign, your rising and your Venus signs. Okay, on the floor, of course. Okay, so let me pick this up. Okay, the first card out here is Twin Flames Ignite, oh, your passion ignites. Okay, next card here is Criticizing One Another Will Only Lead to Further Unhappiness, Love and, love and Accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform and I will save the last one for last um okay so let's look at these two twin flames tell me more about this for Pisces please your passion ignites interesting especially with this other one following it like yeah let's see how it unfolds okay so first of all Pisces we have Children, know that your children are protected. Yep, absolutely. Protected by forces that you cannot see in ways you could never imagine that that is happening. Tell me more about children for Pisces, please. Love this. Flight. Flight. Let them take, spread their wings and fly. Okay, there's this sort of <sighs> melancholy going on. Um, wanting to wrap them up in cotton wool, which is understandable because we all want to do that with our children, right? Um, but it's not actually helping them to fly. It's not helping them to spread their wings and uh, go on their own path, okay? In a garden. See, this is the thing. Sometimes we can become too reliant on those around us and our children to fulfill what it is that we need, okay? And sometimes it's the case that if our ch children um, fly the, what is it? Um, um, fly the coop. Is that what the saying is? But anyway, leave the nest. Um, that, you know, what are we going to do? Right? Like, how are we going to manage that? Because we're so used to having them there and taking care of them. And it's like, well, it's a matter of finding an, your own way to fill your garden, okay? Um, to plant your own inner garden. And this, by doing this, this actually shows your children how to do it for themselves as well. So it's very important for you to do that. It's kind of like in relationships how, you know, people won't let their children see certain things or won't allow their children to see any um, them, you know, have um, conflict or debates or anything like that. Children um, learn from their parents how adults deal with the tough things in life. That's how they learn because they, you know, you can't wrap your kids up in cotton wool. They need to learn the hard stuff at some point because if they're not showing um, and they go out in the big wide world, world and take flight, right, they're going to go crash and burn because they're not used to dealing with that and it can be scary for them. So, um, you know, there's, yeah, there's a need. That our whole role is, as parents is to guide them with these difficult things yeah so that they know how to face that when we're not around okay dreams believe in your dreams yeah see this is about this inner garden right what are your dreams what have they been yeah what is it that you can do to fill those now okay so oh gosh everything's falling out but it's okay we've got two cards here okay Pisces we have decay so something has died something has done and dusted right um and it's sort of like it's as though it's died it's done and dusted but it's still being prettied up to make it look like it's fine it's still alive look how gorgeous it is it's it's looking good even though it's not really alive anymore <laughs> smile and wave boys smile and wave it's done it's a matter of accepting that and um yeah, it's time to look at what dreams you would like to fulfill in your life now. This trove, 
feel like there's sort of a sense of dishonesty with yourself again. It's like blinging things up to make them look really pretty, but these things are pointless. It's gathering things in in um in a sense kind of like I suppose how people buy lots of material possessions in order to fill a need that they're lacking in um emotionally or you know yeah yeah <laughs> um I feel like there's sort of this this tone of that here Pisces um so yeah which I, which makes sense because I was kind of like how would we have twin flames and then we have this criticizing one another like it's not something's not adding up there is something not in alignment and um, it's important for you to look in, at every aspect of your life to see how it is that you could be trying to keep something alive that is done and dusted okay uh, so criticizing one another will only le lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform yep so this could be you expecting things from another person um, that they simply can't fulfill because at the end you know you're not accepting who they are it could actually be someone else doing that to do to you and sometimes we can be um, in a situation for long enough to actually go what were my dreams who am I what was it? What what is my passion? You know, this twin flame could be about yourself, meeting yourself again, igniting your own passion for yourself and your dreams, right? Okay, so tell me more about this card for Pisces, please. Okay. I've got two here. Friendship. Nurture your relationships yeah see this is it you know this could be um any uh okay so this i feel like is actually about judgment of other people i mean i just i'm just i don't need to ask you i'm gonna pick these cards up i was just about to say can i just go and pick these up that's like well actually i have to <laughs> um yeah yeah actually about judging other people okay um and feel like I feel like because I'm looking at these these three people here right and these people have got put themselves up here and this person is beneath and it's sort of like just being mindful that you're not in the sense of like well I do this and those people don't do that so therefore hmm, you know I'm better than it's not the case no one is better than anyone else at all, no matter what they do, right? No matter what they do, right? The the rich person living in the mansion over here, um, the most, you know, perceivably perfect person in the world is no better than, say, a homeless person in a gutter being drunk. No difference. There is no difference. It's our perception of that. And what we believe to be success that is different nest see this is talking about flying the nest right flying i still can't get that right leaving the nest okay but this is also about nurturing something and, and getting something to grow and what that looks like we then have thorns here and the thing is that these eggs here are really delicate right they can be broken they can be broken so easily throughout life. There are thorns on that path, boy, oh boy, are there thorns. And we get to those roses and we think everything's perfect. Oh, that's it. Everything's great. The let's live happily ever after. And then along we embark on this journey again. And there are more thorns, more thorns to endure. And they will cut you and they will prick you. And sometimes they'll, they might just, we might just almost go to stand them and go, oh, Thank goodness I didn't stand on that thorn because that looked like it would be store, sore and we work our way around it and we move along, you know. But at the end of the day, we can't avoid them thorns, right? So yeah, look at this here. But here's a new beginning, okay? Here is a new beginning. Begin your new life. It is ready for the taking here, Pisces. So it's time to begin it. So tell me more, okay? Okay, we've got shadow here. This is shadow. This is you acknowledging your shadow, 
not being in denial about it, not looking at some little things and going, oh yeah, I looked at them, all done now, your shadow is never done, your shadow is half of you, it always will be, it always is, right? And then there's the things that we don't want to look at that we keep in the shadow, no, we need to look at all of them, not just some of them, all of them, okay, and um, maybe this is a new beginning in the shadow work for you, right? could be a, a, a dark night of the soul that you're beginning to go through for some of you. Okay, but I want to say that teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, um, there's, there's this dream. There is this dream, and I keep coming back to this here, Pisces, and it's a matter of you gathering what it is that you need to gather in order to make this dream come true. Okay, this is about you embracing all of yourself. Because part of the reason why these dreams haven't come true is because you've denied half of yourself. Okay? Okay, so this card here. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. What are the things in the shadow? What are you hiding what don't you want others to see? What are you hiding, right? Okay, so tell me more about this card here. For Pisces, please. One more card for Pisces. Enlightenment. Pursue spiritual growth. Yeah, see, this is, I feel like for some of you, this is about getting chakra work done because I feel like there's some um, chakras that need to be opened up more. Um, but tell me more about enlightenment. Fruit of knowledge we have here. And this is seeing things from a different perspective, I feel. Um, but see, the shadow keeps coming back because now, for some reason, which I've never had before in this card, the snake is jumping out at me. And it's sort of like... This honesty, this honesty about being true to yourself, that, that you can be true to others, right? This is about honesty here, okay? Crossroads. Yeah, see, this is this new beginning, the new beginning happening and making a decision as to what direction you want to go in. Very important for you. And that can only be done if you are true to yourself, okay? This is not about anyone else other than you, Pisces, because if you're not true to yourself, if you're like, oh, well, I'll do this because this person really wants this, then you're not, you're, you're staying in the shadows. You're staying in the shadows and you're not being honest with yourself, let alone anyone else around you. Okay, we have illusion. Embrace the truth. It's, you know, yeah, don't turn away from it because sometimes it's like you you are faced with it but you're like oh i don't want to see it or yeah yeah yeah, i see it okay and now i'm going to go over here and continue doing what i was doing before it's not going to work not going to work when you are on uh, this enlightenment path the enlightenment is part of of shedding light on those things shedding light on the shadows right Shedding light on these things. Shedding light on the judgment that we pass on others. Shedding light on the judgment we pass on ourselves. Yeah? Cocoon stage. Yeah. Yeah. This is the uncomfortable, horrible, awful stage, right? Dark night of the soul. Like I was saying before, this could be something some of you are going through. Um, reach out, reach out on into the light, right? Reach for the light, reach out to people who can help you. Reach out for any light workers who are there available to you in order to help you grow. Because right now you may need this because some of you are traveling through a real tough part of the thorn process. And, um, and it, it may be really difficult for you to see um the the light at the end of the tunnel so this could be a time for you to reach out and get the help that you need okay um so yeah pisces i'm gonna leave that with you okay take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye